My name is Gordon Lucas and I am the garden manager here at the Horniman Museum. I have worked here now for about 11 years and I have great pleasure in saying that I help to keep the gardens thriving throughout the year and I have a wonderful group of staff that work here, um, 11 in all, 12 including me, and we are busy every year, all through the year, putting together wonderful displays and hopefully educating and giving people delight on their visits. Well, how did I get into interested? Really, I suppose it's the same story as most uh, people who are in the garden profession. It always comes from a member of the family. And my mother was very interested in gardening. And really, you know, things bit when I was at a very early age, about 12 years of age, I suddenly realized that gardening was for me. And I'm glad to say that for 37 years, I have now been a professional gardener. And where has the time gone? But it's delightful. The museum has so many things that have, which we can interpret in the gardens and it's surprising the, uh, the amount that, that I've learned and the amount that people in the gardens can learn through the objects that are in the museum. Uh, part of that is because of this wonderful well collection but also the other unique thing about the Horniman, uh, the Horniman visit is actually to discover the reason why we're here and the feel of the place itself and and from visiting the museum first and the wonderful collection and the dedication and, and you know the vision of Horniman when you step outside and our interpretation of a lot of the the uh, the objects and the collections and the themes are now those cultures are now being brought outside and with the, with the wonderful views that exists here the wonderful hill, the topography that we got here, is that you can enjoy both things. Uh, the projects uh, for 2009 this year consists of a project that we're working very closely together, the Museum of the Gardens, on D the Darwin 200. And in that there will be a lot of educational things going on and displays within the museum, as well as a medicinal uh, garden display that we are putting together uh, in the gardens. The other project that we're doing uh, currently is we are we have designed and we are creating a wildflower garden and this again is to do with uh, the wildlife and environment on your doorstep and that again will be uh, used by schools and community groups uh, will be obviously open to the public to, to see uh, there will be a lot of education activities connected with that and that really is going to be quite an exciting uh, event. And that a wildflower garden will be something that will actually stay within the gardens for a number of years. Um, one thing I would like to say about the, the Hornemans, it is a very, very special place. And I would always say to somebody, come along, visit and enjoy, and actually come away from the visit slightly more educated about all the various things that the, this wonderful place has to offer. The other thing that I, I always say to everybody is that when you come, you know, leave the place as you find it. Uh, with the 600,000 plus visitors a year, there is a lot of wear and tear, and the upkeep generally is is very, very much hard work. But come, enjoy, and take care of this wonderful place.